So, are you a VTuber who absolutely hates using other programs and only want to use solely Vinyon to basically be your primary program? I'm sure you're going to say yes. Well, allow me to tell you how to do that, I guess. Um, now, I will say in advance, um, right now, Vinyon does not have native webcam or media pipe or webcam hand support. However, that is actually going to be in the works, by the way. It has been confirmed by Suvi, and I'm saying this. I hope I don't get in trouble for saying this early, but yes, there's going to be webcam mocap coming to freaking Vinyon, but I don't know when that's happening. But either way, though, as of right now, we have only air kit tracking, and this is a beta version of, um, Vinyon that has the leap motion, but by the time the leap motion thing is supported, this will exist, basically. So, yeah. And pretty much, um, when the update happens, uh, this is basically how you're gonna set up. So, I'm gonna show you. So, first and foremost, choose which program, or choose which app you wanna use. If you're a face motion 3D user, use iFacial Mocap, and please, please buy specifically the other... Um, which is a pro okay. There's this um, there's multiple stuff that you can buy with uh, face motion 3D. There's Blender, there's Unity, Maya, Dot Studio, those sort of like sender pro protocols, whatever the frick. And there is an option that says other, like other softwares. You have to buy that one in order to get work on Vina. If you have Unity, it may not work. So please get the other software, um, you know, payment protocol, whatever the frick thing on face motion 3D. But if you're iFacial mocap, then you're going to have an easier time with that. And then you also have YouTube Studio and Meow Face. Now, uh, Meow Face, you can definitely utilize it. Um, I believe uh, there is... If by any chance you are ever struggling with trying to get your mall to like move around side to side and such, um, Suvadril will make sure to make an announcement regarding like an update regarding Meow Face uh, for the positioning stuff. So make sure that when you see an update regarding Meow Face, uh, please make sure you download that, and if by any chance uh, it's in the future, like you're seeing this video in the future, make sure you're in the update version of Meow Face in that case. Uh, if you're going to use VTube Studio, um, pretty much just make sure that I'm going to put on my screen basically um, where you can basically find the exact number so that way you can get VTube Studio activated because you do actually have to type a number for this. For iFacial mocap, I don't know why, but I can literally type any random number like this and it'll still freaking work. <laughs> it's funny, I don't know. But, hey, um, as long as there's a number in there, it works. That's how, that's how you facial mocap. VTube Studio, no, if I if I do VTube Studio, it's not gonna work. So make sure you type the number, which, in screen, somewhere on the screen, um, there's a location of where you can find it. But anyways, um, pretty much what you can do is you can use eye bones, you can mess around with these stuff. I do not recommend using old tracking. It's just, it's going to disable your eye caves and we need our eye caves. We want to keep our feet grounded and stuff. So please don't use this unless by any chance, for some reason, your iPhone or your Android even uh, apparently hates you or something like that, um, where you have to use it, then you can use it, but don't, don't use it. That's all I'm going to tell you. There's locomotion. So locomotion best works if you set it to a value of 1. So you can move it around and such. And it works pretty well though. If you want tiny steppies, make sure your movement range is set to lower amount. You can also set it high where you can be able to like... Run away. You can like It's like as if you have like full body tracking. But web... Just, well, it's not webcam. It's just iPhone. But yeah, I don't really... Uh, do that. Um, I really don't do like that crazy amount with, um, I don't do that crazy amount like with my setup though. I just keep the movement at minimum basically. But yeah. Um, and then I always set the gaze strings to one, but if you need it lower, then don't go ahead. Rotation range will allow you to rotate a lot more. Uh, nod range, it basically, it, it helps, I'm gonna be honest, this actually helps you create a more bouncier effect. Like, even, yeah, I get, there's the arm sway though, but even without the arm sway, it kind of gives you a bit more bouncierness. So if you're trying to aim for that bouncy look, you might want to increase the nod, nod range, but don't, don't make it too high or else you're gonna look like you're breaking your neck. There's altitude that also helps you create that more bouncier effect the more higher it is the more bouncier you are but also um the more sensitive it gets to drifting because for some reason there are there is some drifting uh the more range you have so be mindful of that 
And then there's also depth if you want to get closer and such. There's also smooth multiplier, which I don't think this works at all. Uh, the jitter removal is basically like the improved smooth multiplier, basically. Uh, I've set mine to 8, um, but sometimes it may be a bit too high for some people. Because the higher it is, the basically the more slower you are. And then the lower it is, the more faster but jittier you are. So make sure you have like a sweet spot like in between, basically. So you're smooth, but you can also move pretty fast, basically. And yeah, that's pretty much just iPhones in a nutshell, basically. I'm also going to set the look the motion to zero, because I don't need that. And pretty much, for leap motion, it's pretty much straightforward. Just make sure you plug in your leap motion, have that up, and then set your device height and your um, device distance. And if you want mirror hands, which I always prefer mirror hands, you can also have that as well. And pretty much, wow, I got a leap motion. Whoa! But yeah. Pretty much, um... Very simple. That's pretty much how you set up AR kit and Leap Motion inside of Vineon. So that way, uh, if you're someone who absolutely just hates running multiple programs, well, um, good thing that Vineon is pretty much, uh, Vineon basically decide that they're going to go through the path of having native tracking. And hopefully in the future, they're going to implement webcam tracking. We'll see what happens in the future. I cannot tell you, um... I cannot tell you, like, when it's happening or something like that, because I don't know. Um, only Suvi will know that, but look forward to it. Make sure you follow Suvi on Twitter and follow her Twitch and all that. Follow all her socials so you can stay updated with Vinyan updates and stuff. And you can also use a um, microphone lip sync as well, by the way. It's not super best, as in there's, like, more controllability. But definitely, like, it's still, like, pretty good to use, though. Um... Yeah, it's like, it's pretty alright though. I like it, but I usually just prefer not to use it. But some people may prefer it, especially if like, you may need it and such. But, anyways, uh, hold on one second. There you go, I just gotta fix my mouse. But yeah, overall though, um, for the most part, um, if you do want to set up VMC and stuff, you know, do keep in mind these numbers here are basically like the sort of like, mocap layers basically like how it's going to be applied basically uh so one is being the bottom and then the rest uh up to four is basically the top i if i am correct so yeah um but either way though i hope you enjoyed the tutorial on at least learn you know at least getting in you know understanding like oh where the air kit settings are or even the leap motion settings and hopefully that helps you out at least on getting started with like setting up your tracking and all that if by any chance you absolutely have to rely on the webcam you still have to use vc face with vineyard or just stick with native vc face um if you really don't want to use multiple programs until vineyard ends up adding open c face to um you know or till suvi adds a you know, open sea face to Vinyan, basically, which I don't have a date for that, but that's gonna be, that is confirmed it's going to happen, basically. But, either way, though, um, if you have any other questions regarding Vinyan, I definitely recommend, please join Suvidrail's Discord server, because a lot of the Vinyan questions are pretty much answered there, and also you can get some free assets as well that you can definitely be able to use on your streams, which they're really nice, they're fun to use, and just already they're ready for using, so, definitely join Superdrill's Discord server in order to, you know, have fun with those tutorials over there and the assets that are given uh, in that community. They're really nice. Uh, and you can even ask for help as well. There's people active over there and they can help you out with Vinyan stuff. And, yeah. Uh, but if you do have a question and you really want to ask me about Vinyan, feel free to drop it down below. But do keep in mind, I am not a coder. I am not an advanced node peeper or anything like that. So, um, if you are going to ask a very advanced question about Vinyan, I may not be able to answer it. I'm pretty sure Suvadro will probably be the best for that, but that's all I have to say. Have a lovely day, everyone. I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Hey, 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 everyone. I hope to see you guys next time, okay?